In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use Cricut Design Space when you want to upload your own images to make a project. Maybe there's something that you can't find in um, the images that are available through Cricut, or there's something specific that you're looking for. Uh, maybe it's like a logo or something like that that wouldn't be included, and you want to have your own image in your project. It's really easy to upload your own images. This particular project that I'm making today, I'm using this unicorn image, which I uploaded. Um, I This was a download. I got it from a website called Creative Market where you can get graphics and fonts and things like that, and that's where this particular one came from. Um, and then I added some text to the project. It's going to be a pillow for my daughter who likes unicorns. But um, So this is the finished project that I'm going to be making but I want to show you step by step how to get here. So I'm going to open up a blank, um, oops, get to a blank screen. I'm going to open up a blank project, a brand new project. I'm going to show you how to upload your own image. So the first thing you're going to do is click on this little thing on the side that says upload images. It's pretty self-explanatory there. Um, and then you're going to click on upload image and then to find you want to find the image on your computer that you want to use so let's see I'm going to use this one right here now this particular image that I'm using has a transparent background even if that background were a solid color like if it was a white background with black images it would still be really easy to do. A transparent background is the easiest because you really don't have to do anything to it, but um, it's going to be considered a simple image. It's high contrast colors on a transparent or monotone background. So I'm going to click on simple image, hit continue, make it a little smaller so it's easier to see what I'm doing. So if this were a solid background and it weren't transparent, what you would want to do, like it says right here, you click on the areas of the image that you want to remove. So you would just click on the background and it would disappear. You want to make sure if there's any spots like this little spot in the tail, if you don't have a transparent background, you're going to want to click on those spots to make sure, or there's one right here on the tail of this one. Um, you want to make sure that you click those so that they also are cut out. Otherwise, your tail would just be solid right there and it wouldn't cut out that little chunk. Um, but since mine's a transparent background, there's really not anything else I have to do. You can see if I clicked on this unicorn right here, it would disappear. So that's what happens if you click on it, and it'll just take away whatever you click on so that that part won't be part of your image. But I'm just going to leave them all on there for right now. Then you hit continue. And it always brings it up as kind of the default option to save it as a print then cut image. And for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just my computer or if this happens for everyone, but this part is always really slow. It just kind of takes it a minute to have the cut image show up. So hopefully it will not take super long time. But it should pop up in this box right here something identical to this. But if you do it this way, then it's going to save your unicorns as something to print out. And then I'm not sure exactly if it cuts out still the shape or what, but I think it just prints them. Um, but I want to save it as a cut file because I want it to actually cut out the unicorn shape. I'm going to be cutting it out of iron on to put on a pillow. So hopefully it'll come up here soon. Just give it a minute. I don't know why this part always seems like it doesn't want to come up very quickly. Hmm. It's taking a really long time today. I was trying this earlier and I actually stopped because it wasn't wanting to work right, but Usually it works really easily and really smoothly. So I don't know if it's my computer that's having issues today. 
for design space is struggling. But it should pop up, like I said, it should look exactly like this, but in this square. Oh, there we go. So if you want to name it or put some tags on there so you can find it easier when you're searching for it, you can. I don't usually worry too much about that personally, but I also don't have that many uploaded images. So if you have a lot, then you might want to do that. Go ahead and hit save. <coughs> Sorry. And it should. I think my computer's just going really slow today. Of course, that would happen in the time that I'm trying to use it as an example of how to show show how to do this. Just wait for this to finish. Hmm, I'm not sure what it's doing right now. should though have, if you go back in, so this is what it'll come up as. And I'm going to go ahead and hit insert images. I went ahead and uploaded the whole thing like I showed you on the, when I was, when it brings up the image when you upload it, you can click on ones that you don't want, parts that you don't want so that it can just take those off there. But I wanted to keep them all just so I could kind of look at them and pick out which unicorn I wanted to use. But I decided to go with this bigger one right here. And so that's how you upload your images. Because I was going to only use that one. Oh, now it finally went through. So there it is again. But I already had it on there. So, um, so what you want to do, or what I did, is I just cut those ones out. I just used some shapes and used the cut tool to just get rid of all of them that I didn't want. Um, make that smaller, it's going to be easier. So cover as much of it as you can and then select both pieces, slice, that's what it is, slice tool, not cut tool. And then that'll get rid of everything that's behind the gray square. I still have a horn left I need to get rid of. So I can just delete that and then this part, all of the layers, just circle, cover up that little last piece, slice that, and now I'm left with this unicorn. If you know which one ahead of time you want to use, you can just delete those other ones when you're uploading your image. That's probably the easier way to go, but just because I didn't know for sure what I wanted to use, um, that's what I did. And then you just go in and you add your text, and it's super easy. But that's how you upload images. And then this was my finished project, my finished design. And I'm going to cut it out of iron-on um, glitter and put it on a pillow cover for my daughter. So that is how you upload images. It's really easy, even though it does sometimes go a little slow. So maybe that was just my computer. But if you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave comments on this post or email me. Um, my email address is erica at fivelittlemonsters.com, and I will try my best to answer any questions that you have. Thanks for following along with me.